everybody the ceo the money maker the ass taker storm allen baby and i'm back with another mother loving top 10 video guys uh may i please take your order oh, oh, oh. Check in with these two. Uh, did I say top 10? I'm in tier list video, guys, uh, for ranking my favorite town hall, guys. So I got the tier list ranking every single town hall in Classic Clans history, guys. Shout out to my clan mate, Big O, aka Surge, for this awesome scenery in the back. We're just chilling in some Classic Clans right now. W scenery, guys. So let's jump on into the video. Hey, guys, so let's, let's do this and let's get out of here. Let's take some um first of all first town hall uh where it all began we're gonna give it i mean like it's it's the first town hall. what does it embody how are we ranking these guys we're ranking it based off um not only our design like how impactful how much i remember about that town hall how much comes in the update how how i feel when i see that town hall stuff like that the energy the butterflies it gives me in my belly it's a stupid metric of ranking it but it's my list baby comment your list down below if you differentiate against my list comment your list down below i don't even know what i'm saying i'm not even editing this stuff i'm no professional i want you guys to see the damn bloopers when i fail when I'm starting up. All right, so the first town hall, how impactful? Uh, D, nothing, we upgraded the town hall right away. I remember this being the first town hall, town hall two for me personally. Uh, build that little cannon, little vibe, and oh, when the city just started off, we do them goblin raids, really memorable for me. I'm gonna put it a solid C. A nail further than that, town hall three, I think it's even less impactful than town hall, two i remember more at town hall two than town hall three so that's crazy i'm gonna put it a top d tier we got town hall four i mean it's all right like overrated in my opinion i mean it's all right like but i still think it's more memorable to me than town hall uh then town hall two so we do there town hall five this is a solid solid this is when the game just got fun we got introduced to so many new mechanics we got introduced to more troops uh learning how to play the game not just spamming troops um looking for key defenses so this is a solid a you know what it might be even s but let's put it at a tier town hall six um introduce a lot of stuff i think the design is lacking though personally like it's just town hall five with some trees on the side i wish they made something a little bit different change up the design a little bit the colors added a, a flag something make it a little bit more unique so i'm gonna put it in b town hall seven i feel like a huge jump this is where strategies kicked in more we got way more overpowered troops like these dragons dragon we got uh I think we got amazing troops we got looking for more key defenses you got the barbarian king and i'm putting this in s for me guys huge ass x tier we got the barbarian king first introduced to heroes you kicking ass with this you feel powerful you feel like you can't lose with that barbarian king tunnel eight i mean it was great <laughs> oh brother this guy stinks it was a great town hall I like it. As it is it more impactful than Town Hall 7 though? I would not think so. I feel like it was just a 7.5 update. So I'm going to put it right here at A. I'm going to put it below Town Hall 5. All right. So now we have Town Hall 9. And this is amazing. Huge step up in the design. They they start going for themes. This is where Clash of Clans kicked off the themes for Town Hall. And it is an amazing decision they made. We got introduced to my favorite ground troop, which is, which is going to be, is, yeah, you know, uh, they're solid choices. There's more strategy. This is just, it was just perfect. Just perfect. I don't know where all these memes are coming from. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. So I'm gonna put it straight up in S tier. We got my girl, the Archer Queen, with the best damn hero ever. Well, based on feed picks. 
all right so now we got town out 10 there's no questions need to be asked best design town out 10 in the history of designs s tier i don't feel like it's more impactful with troops but i still think just because of the design and just the design <laughs> This is going above town on nine. Uh, now we got town on 11. You guys, you might think I'm biased. We got siege machines. We got, um, we got siege machines. We got super troops. Uh, this was back when I was playing guys. This I think was the max town hall. The design of the town hall is, mwah. I would make love to the clash of clan creator that made this. And also guys comment down below love. If you've been, through the entire video let's see who watches it let's see who's day one supporter guys let's see doing a giveaway soon and we got 10 videos 10 days all right this is s tier for me guys huge huge s tier uh top of the line taking over from town out 10 my favorite town out design now uh beat it beat it my town out 10 all right town out 12 mm. In case of design, oh, I, f I feel like it, this is one of the worst steps they could have possibly taken uh, in design. So personally, I'm going to put it at B. Uh, I do like the weaponized idea of the town hall, but I just feel like the design is so lackluster. I'm, I, can, I get it so confused that half of the time with town hall 13, which makes no sense. I'm not at a town hall yet, but I do know everything about it. I do know what's I've watched like multiple videos. But I, I hate the design. I got people in my clan that are at this town hall. I just feel like it's a step down in design versus town hall 11. So I'm going to put it at B. Yeah, it, it's not that impactful when I think about stuff that I want to unlock. Doesn't give that vibe. I think the RCs. Uh, but otherwise from that, I think town hall 13 does have a better design. And the Inferno... I do like Town Hall 13, the weaponized, they expanded on it. They got a little mode, well, they had the mode in Town Hall 12, but I just prefer the more box square design. Not by much, but I think it is it is more impactful than Town Hall 8 per se, and I'm gonna put it in A tier. I'm not the biggest fan of the design, as I can say. Design wise, not the biggest fan. Town Hall 14, love the design. Uh, the jungle theme, theme, they made a way huge step up. We got the pets. We got everything is overpriced, but I love the walls. I love everything about this town hall, the defense designs. So I'm going to put this in a solid S tier behind town hall 10. Town hall 15, I feel like is just a more upgraded version of town hall 14. It's just uh, town hall 14.5. So I'm going to put it right here in A tier. I'm not that huge much of a difference for me. I'm not the biggest fan of the Town Hall design. I still prefer the Town Hall 14 design. Uh, I just feel like it's extra coloring, but the jungle hits more home for me. Ta and now we got the latest, the baddest, the greatest. And there's no, there's no question, guys. No question. This is going right here at the S tier for me, guys. Uh, between, behind Town Hall 10. I feel the design is crazy. The design, the troop designs, the the nature vibe, everything about it is just so. So it's going in S tier, and as you guys can see, most high S tier has the most town halls, which is crazy. I might bump down uh, one of these town halls to A tier, but for now, all these they just leave that stain in my memory. That design is beautiful. There's just something there. When I see this, y'all go straight to my head. Damn, this is a town hall 10. Even if I'm not at the higher town halls yet, I do have that beautiful attachment to them. Looking at those defenses, looking at those walls, looking at those people grinding out for the town halls. So this is my list, guys. Comment your list down below. Comment